So when I first heard this story, I was like, this can't be real, but it's definitely real. So let's get into the story. Tallahassee police made a grisly discovery after responding to reports of a woman with a history of mental illness who was dancing naked outside her home, her mother heart carved from her chest. Arlene Tucker, 58, was arrested the afternoon of March 6 in an alleged murder of her mother, Lucille Tucker, who was living with her at her daughter's townhouse on Hartsfield Way. Officers responded to the townhouse after getting calls from a delivery driver who said the woman had tried to get inside her car and the woman's daughter who said was outside naked and refused to go inside to put clothes on. And one thing with Florida, any government official that calls the police, whether that be UPS, FedEx, any government official that calls the police, the police are going to come and investigate. In Florida, they do not play. Earlene Tucker was rumbling outside the townhouse and initially resistant to go inside, according to the recently released court documents. She insisted that the police take her into custody. I have to go to the police station. You need to take me to the police station, Tucker said to the officers. I have commit a grievous crime. She eventually agreed to go back inside her home and put on a robe. As she led officers in through the front door, there was an obvious sign of the horror that had unfolded inside the townhouse. Once inside the residence, Erlene stood over an apparent human organ, which was on the ground approximately six to eight feet in the residence past the front door. The probable cause affidavit says Erlene began breathing heavily and grunting as the officers asked her what that was. One officer stayed with her as another went to find clothes. After knocking on a closed bedroom door and asking if anyone was inside, the officer found Lucille Tucker's body on a blood-soaked bed with multiple sharp force injuries to the middle of her chest. Police said her injuries were consistent with evisceration of the heart and that the organ found on the living room floor was confirmed to be the majority of a heart. First of all, it takes so much force. You have to break bones to get to someone's heart. So what type of knife did she use and how long did it take her to take out her own mom's heart out of her chest? View room at the Tallahassee Police Department headquarters, she talked to herself nonstop for hours and made several admissions to killing her mother. She said her mom was a sacrificial lamb and that she was going to die there with her, court document says. The fact that she was talking to herself for hours is probably because she was going through a mental break or this is probably a side effect from some mental illness as they said in the beginning of the story that she suffers from mental illness i'm sure once a lawyer get to her they will probably have her psycho um psychoanalyzed or evaluated uh, because i don't think she will be able to stand trial but this is America. Anything happens here. I murdered my mom in that house, Earlene Tucker told detectives. Later, after police had ended their attempts to interview her, she made a statement referencing cutting out her mother's heart to inspect it. According to court records, police found traces of blood in a bathroom sink, the hallway leading to her mother's bedroom, and I found on a nearby dresser. Family members told police that Erlene Tucker, a former certified nursing assistant, was taking care of of her mom who was in poor health and had moved in a year earlier. They also said Erlene Tucker had a history of mental health problems. Her family said she had been hospitalized approximately 30 to 40 years ago for mental health issues in Palm Beach County and again in 2009. Erlene Tucker's daughter said she was not aware of any medical diagnosis although she suspected Erlene had schizophrenia. 
And if you guys don't know what schizophrenia is, it's a chronic brain disorder that affects less than 1% of the population in the United States. The symptoms include delusions, hallucination, disorganized speech, and trouble with thinking and lack of motivation. Erlene Tucker, who is being held without bond at the Leon County Detention Facility, entered a conditional not guilty plea on March 8th. The court has also ordered a psychological evaluation to determine whether she is competent to proceed. The fact that she was talking to herself for hours while the police was interviewing her tells me everything I needed to know because she's probably going through a mental break. And once you're going through mental issues, nothing that you say within an interview room with a police can stand in court if you don't have a evaluation done and they say you're competent to proceed and in her case i definitely don't think she's competent to proceed but we will follow up on this case and see what the legal expert minds have to say because there are, are some cases where people pretend to be going through psychological issues or mental issues because they commit crimes and they want to not be held accountable for those crimes. They literally want to get off scotch-free, probably be put in a mental health hospital or a mental health prison, and that's how they do their time and they get out eventually. Mental health is very much a taboo in our community that we do not talk about. And a lot of times we have mental health issues and we don't get it treated and we don't get it assessed and we don't seek professional help because of all the taboos and everything that comes with having mental health issues. The stigma that is not only placed on the people with mental health issues, but also the families and the people that have to care for them is something that we have to address as a community and as a culture, because the more that I do these stories is the more that I see it's getting worse and worse because we refuse to address, we refuse to acknowledge, we refuse to seek professional help. And one thing with me, once I feel like people are messing with my peace or messing with my brain or my emotions, I am going to therapy, okay? I talked about this before. I go to therapy. It's very accessible to any and everyone. So please, if you feel like something is wrong, you feel like something is happening and you don't know how to express those feelings or those emotions and you need someone to talk to, please get a mental health professional involved. If it's even just someone to talk to outside of your family members where your information is privileged and they can't tell anyone, do it. So with that being said, I'm going to end this video here. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Leave your comments in the comment section below and tell me what your thoughts are. Do you think she went through a mental break? Do you think she's pretending? Do you think she will be able to stand going through a trial, going to court, being in jail? Or do you think she needs to be put in a mental health facility for treatment what are your thoughts? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And what about the family members that knew she had previous mental health problems, but still allowed her to take care of her mom? Deuces.